Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. It is my absolute honor to welcome you all to MPAC's 19th annual banquet. Tonight, we are celebrating that this is our America. Here at MPAC, our mission is to bring our communities to the table. It's about relationship building for progress. And I truly believe in MPAC's mission. That's why I joined the organization almost 16 years ago as an intern right here in LA. <laughs> Throughout the years, I remained engaged with the, with the organization, and it was about eight and a half years ago that I joined in an official capacity to work in the Washington, D.C. office. This community, you all, are really so special to me. This is where I grew up. This is where I grew up listening to my grandfather, Samir el Kabatri, make the call to prayer every Friday at the Islamic Center of Southern California. And it is you all, my community, who's entrusted me to lead the Washington, D.C. office for MPAC for the last five years as director. And let me tell you, every day I am so honored to serve you, my community, through this great organization. As American Muslims, we are uniquely positioned to be the model and exemplify working together towards pluralism. You see, we are the most diverse faith community in America. We already look like what America is projected to look like in 2040. So we present a model of America that is in sync with reality. And let me tell you, we are working for a future where we are the future of America. Now we just heard the verses from the Quran and God promises us that with every hardship comes ease. But that doesn't mean that with every hardship ease comes on its own. We have to make the effort to face our challenges. And challenges are best faced in solidarity with others. So we must be willing to find and work with partners for the greater good, even if tactics and strategies may not completely align. And MPAC is proud to rise to the occasion and be a leader in this movement, pledging ourselves to fulfilling the idea of e pluribus unum, out of many, one. So in Washington, D.C., we work hard to build relationships and by engaging and providing expert policy recommendations with decision makers to ensure that policies uplift our communities and don't negatively impact us. And here in the entertainment industry, our strategy is based on the idea that narrative builds power for people. And we can leverage that power over those who set the incentives, the rules, and the norms that shape our society. And we're investing in the futures of our communities and America by placing young leaders in the opinion shaping and decision making halls of power. That's what we mean when we say this is our America. MPAC is playing a critical role in shaping the future of our country. And we couldn't do this work without your continued support. We've had an incredible day full of thought-provoking conversations, really culminating in a fantastic year. And you're going to hear all about our year during tonight's program. We are so excited to hear from Dr. Yusuf Salem, Jose Antonio Vargas, and Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib. These inspirational leaders go beyond simply standing for justice. They perform righteously and act equitably, and not just for today, but for the future and for all humanity. Before we start the program, on behalf of the MPAC Board of Directors and staff, I'd like to recognize and welcome a few special guests. Tonight we have with us Salwan Sinjari, the Consul General of Iraq, Faisal Al Huli, Consul General of Kuwait, Saud Krisnawan, Consul General of Indonesia, and Mayor Ali Sajad Taj, the Mayor of Artesia. We have an incredible program planned for you tonight. I promise you will be inspired, 
you will be motivated and you will be energized. So please get ready, sit back, and enjoy the program. Thank you.